Mr. How much? When are you reviewing the Jayco J7? I've been getting a lot of that over the last few weeks. I've seen your comments, I've heard them, and here it is. The top spec Jayco J7. And in this review, we're going to take a look at its interior, talk about its practicality, its cost of ownership, and take it for a drive. So, without wasting any of your time, allow us to get started. By the way, remember to stay in control when you're naked. We'll talk more about naked a little bit later, but first, let's talk about the J7. Starting with the interior. Without saying anything yet, let me know what you think of what you're seeing in the comments below. You get a panoramic sunroof as standard. You have heated and ventilated front seats. Both are electrically adjustable and you get this massive 14.8 inch infotainment screen. Now I've never been in a Tesla before but this is as close as I've got so far. The size of this screen helps especially when it comes to the 360 degree view camera. You also have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and this is your center console. Here you'll find your cup holders, wireless charging and that gear stick design which is currently trending in China. The reason I say that is even the Tank 300 has something similar. From here we move on to the center armrest which you can use to keep your drinks cooled because over there is a vent that lets in cool air. But one of the main reasons people buy cars is to drive them. Now this Jayco top spec model comes with a 1.6 litre turbocharged engine. It's a 4 cylinder producing 145 kilowatts and 290 newton meters of torque. Hey, those are more kilowatts than a T-Roc. But the T-Roc does have more torque and I'm only bringing up the T-Roc because I have a T-Roc review that is coming up soon. Anyway, the J7 has a claimed fuel consumption of 7.8 liters to the 100. Claimed fuel consumption. Would you get that in the real world? Well, I'd first have to drive this car myself and find out. But what I can tell you right now is that the JQ has seven different driving modes and that this top spec model has an intelligent all-wheel drive system. Now, in terms of the looks, yo, I've had so many things. I've had people say, yo, this car reminds them of a Range Rover, eh, hey, this, that. Ah, guys, <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. I wouldn't take it quite that far, but the Jayco does look good. Now, in terms of the different color options, I wasn't invited to the Jayco launch. So this black one that we're looking at right now is the only one I've seen so far. And if I had to buy my Jayco, I'm going for the old black. It looks really good. And because this is the top spec model, you get 19 inch wheels. Speaking of wheels, let's take a quick look at the boot. As you've just seen, you get an electric tailgate. And in terms of capacity, the boot is 412 liters. The reason for that is you get a full size spare wheel. I, I can't complain about a spare wheel, although it limits the boot space. I'm glad they threw it in there. You also get this load cover to hide things from those people who like staring into your boot. If you're interested in loading longer items, you can easily fold the back seats. On the topic of back seats, let's take a quick look on what it's like sitting behind a chair with a plastic on it. Yeah, Pella, they have to keep the car fresh for someone who buys it in the future. Anyway, legroom, knee room is good. You've got rear air vents, you have USB ports. Although the cameraman was wandering away here, the USB ports are there. As you can see, you also have a center armrest with a slot for two cups. And that pretty much covers the back seat of the Jayco J7. But before I go, I know some of you have children. So if you'd like to fit a child seat, don't stress. You have clearly marked isofix mounts. But just before we get to pricing, I would just like to say, if you haven't liked, ah, but the Jayco is nice. I'm not saying it looks like a Range Rover. I'm not, but it looks beautiful. It really looks good, especially for the price. Well done, Cherry. I mean, Jayco. Well done. I just have one request. If someone in China is watching, please give us a Jayco J2, a hatchback with a sunroof, a sporty exhaust. I'm telling you, it is going to sell. If you need me for some design inputs, I am here. I am available. Take my word for it. The hatchback segment in South Africa is fading. A lot of hatchbacks are gone. You will own the market. Let me know. Hit me up. I'm here. Anyway, I was trying to say, if you haven't liked this video, please like. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Sky is nice. Support local YouTube, guys. It's the right thing to do. We're still on the road to 100,000 subs. So please share this video on your WhatsApp, on your Instagram. Let them know. There's a Mr. How Much on YouTube. Now, for those of you who may not know, Jayco, Cherry and Omoda are all part of the same group. And two months ago, I did a review on the Cherry Tigo 8 Pro Max. That's the review where I spoke Chinese. If you don't believe me, listen. Why Ying Lai Dao, Cherry Tigo 8 Pro Max. 
Washo Shienyao Show Kanda Hao Cherry Kanda Hao. It's currently at over 100,000 views. Thank you, thank you. But anyway, my point is the Cherry is 10,000 rand cheaper than this top spec JQ J7, and they are part of the same group. The Cherry has more power. It's a seven seater, and I really like the look of the Cherry. So, hey, I don't know what the Cherry Group wants you to do here. Let me know in the comments. Would you go with the J7 or rather stick to the 8 Pro Max and save 10,000 Rand? Please let me know which of the two you choose in the comments below. Now, just before we get to pricing, an important part of owning a car is having insurance. So if you'd like to know how much you'd likely pay for insurance on a car you already have or a car you plan to buy, or even this Jayco J7, be sure to check out Naked. Using the app, you quickly enter your details and in about 90 seconds, they'll come up with a price for you. So even before you buy a car, you'll have an idea of how much you're likely to pay for your premium. If you're interested in getting a free quote, I'll leave a link in the description. By the way, using the remote, you can start the car, open the boot, open the windows, open the sunroof, and then close it all up again. There are a lot of things this car is capable of doing that I may not be able to show in this dealership review, but I'll mention a couple of things. You have retractable handles, you have a head-up display, and over there you can fit a memory card because this car has a built-in dash cam, so you can easily record your trip while you're driving. Now, in terms of pricing, the Jayco comes in at 679,900 Rand. On finance, you're looking at 13,292 Rand, and a full tank of petrol will cost you 1,281 Rand. An insurance premium of 2,300 Rand will give you a total cost of ownership of 16,873 Rand. And when it comes to your service plan, you get a five year, 70,000 kilometer service plan and a 5-year 150,000 km warranty. And because Jayco is part of the Cherry Group, the first owner also gets a 10-year 1 million km engine warranty as well. Thank you so much for watching. I don't know if I'm going to get this car on test or not, but even if I don't, I think I've given you an idea of what the Jayco J7 is like, so I have done my job. Until the next one, take care. Hi, Jayku. Oh, hello, Jayku. Please close the sunroof. Thank you, Jayku. Mm, ramp by traffic. 52 minutes. Yeah. But anyway, got the content, guys, so it's fine. It actually ended up being 1 hour 15 minutes, so yeah, it was not fine. But if you enjoyed this review, then it's okay. It's cool. I'm happy.